It is the first day of the NFL Combine, and players from across the country are fighting to prove themselves worthy of joining the league. That's right, but long before they hit the field, a man living right here in the Tri-State broke a big color barrier. 91-year-old George Talaferro was the first black player drafted by the NFL. He lives in Mason. Kristen Swilly shares his story that you will see only on 9. It was like being a third-class citizen. Today, George Taliaferro is living history, but when he enrolled at Indiana University in 1945, the school was less than welcoming. I couldn't eat in the cafeteria. I couldn't swim in the swimming pool. I couldn't live in the dormitory. He wanted to leave. I can't tell you how heartbroken I was. I cried all night long. But he thought of his parents, who never got past the sixth grade. I played football with every heartbeat, with every stride. He was on the team the only year they won the Big Ten championship without sharing the title. I was going to strive to the best of my ability to be the best human being that I could be. His dogged determination ultimately led him to professional ball and the moment he changed the league. It was uh, a newspaper article on the front page in three inch block letters. George Talaferro, Indiana star drafted by Bears. But he joined the All-American Football Conference, signing with the Los Angeles Dons and ultimately ending his career with the Philadelphia Eagles, playing seven positions in his time, including quarterback. And after a while, everybody saw where it was the right thing to do. Atalafero returned to Indiana University in the 1970s to help implement affirmative action at the school. There are now African-American faculty and staff members throughout the eight campus system.